Saturday is Mac Holiday with Holiday What TV. I celebrate holidays all the days on YouTube. Please subscribe to my channel, Holiday What TV. For example, in a couple of days on Sunday, May 25th, is National Geek Pride Day. Yes! What's up? Yes, yes. I like that. Oh, I, I missed you a little bit. Good. Um, so, uh, uh, who here identifies themselves as a geek? I'm just curious. Anybody? Okay, awesome. What, what makes you a geek? What's the difference between a geek and a nerd, by the way? Do you people know this? Yes. Bite the heads off chickens. Yes. What happened? What? <laughs> so, I mean, technically, he's right. Geeks bite the heads off chickens. Well, this holiday was created, this holiday was created uh, to be May 25th every year because a certain movie debuted in 1977 on that day. What's that movie? Do you know? Star Trek. Star Trek. No. <laughs> Star Wars. Yes. Yes. Very good. <laughs> Yes, that's right. On May 4th, may the 4th be with you, Woo! National Star Wars Day, and I have a confession to make, and this may lower me in your eyes as far as it seems, whatever, but I've never seen Star Wars. Is that what? terrible? Oh my God. I know. Oh my God. I know. It's really, really bad. I probably should see the movie on the holiday next year at some point. Anyway, so today is also a National Museum Day. Yes, yes. Who likes, who likes museums? Anybody? Yeah. What's, what's your favorite? Shout them out. I want to hear. National Aerospace. Aerospace. Wow. There's a lot of museums here in, in downtown, right? Yes. Today, actually, I was just shooting at Neon Museum. Have you guys been there? It's so amazing. They got this amazing scrapyard of like old Vegas artifacts and stuff like hotel signs like Sahara and Tropicana. It's kind of amazing. If you guys don't know, I'm shooting a happy video by Pharrell, uh, utilizing downtown Vegas. That's my new thing. I'm going to now announce when it is going to, oh, my mic all went all the way down. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me. We're just gonna, we're gonna cut this out of YouTube. See, maybe I shouldn't announce. No, we shouldn't cut this. I can't get this to work. Dylan. Okay, it's good, fine. Maybe. See a little nipple? I don't know. Okay, so, um, yes, yeah, so I'm announcing my uh, premiere of the video. It's going to be here at the podcast in two weeks, in two Thursdays. If I don't announce it now, I will not be accountable for it to myself. And so it needs to be finished already. And so I'm excited about it. So if you haven't danced happy for me yet, you should talk to me. So. The sponsor last week, same sponsor this week, these, these guys, Redfin, redfin.com. Do you remember me talking about them last week a little bit? Yeah? Um, they're, just to recap a bit, they're the number one in tech combining real estate. No one else is pioneers like them in that category. Uh, so let's just move on. Uh, also, if you don't remember, uh, their real estate agents don't make commission. They don't. They make their money based on the surveys of their customers, which I think is really special. So today, I want to talk a little bit about their mobile app which is kind of amazing. I actually downloaded it today and it, there, because of their technology, it's so beautiful. If you're a home nerd, you could just literally be on our app all day long just looking at homes because you feel like you're inside the home. It's that beautiful. Now, I am going to read my cheat sheet a little bit, which I never do, but I decided, you know, Mac, be kinder to yourself. You don't have to memorize an entire segment. You can be like the Johnny Carsons of the world and, and use notes, so don't <laughs> judge me. <laughs> All right, so um, they are the only app that allows you to book home tours right from the app. No one else does that. They do that. And if you know anything about home tours and real estate, it's like insanity, like rescheduling and scheduling. It's a hassle, but not with Redfin. You just book it, boom, on the app. It's amazing. They are also the only app that allows you to schedule open houses from your phone. It's called Open House Schedule. With just a tap of a button, you can add any open house to your open house list. It's going to create this itinerary for you, and it makes your to-do list really simple and really easy. You don't have to type in the address into Google Maps and all that. It just does it right there, which I think is amazing. Also, today, they just made this announcement. They have a new feature. It's called Ask an Agent. Okay, so you know you're there, like on the on the home tour, and you're looking at all the houses, and you're thinking, oh. I want to ask an agent something because not everything is going to be on listing, right? Because you might be there thinking, hmm, I wonder when the roof was repaired last. I wonder what the traffic is like going to downtown at 4 o'clock p.m. You just click on ask an agent, agent calls you. Kind of amazing, I think. Moving on. Um, if you decide 
to tour a home, you can take photos from your camera phone during the tour and save them to the home details page to view later on the app. Another amazing feature that they have. They also have a feature called instant updates, which uh, is where you are alerted that a home comes on the market that meets your search criteria. Now they have, because of their amazing technology, uh, basically what happens is, is there's an MLS, it's a multiple listing service, and it's updated through Redfin every 15 minutes. Nobody else does that. So you're on the app and you're like, oh my God, you're way ahead of the game. Why would you want to go anywhere else? Because it's just every 15 minutes, a house is up for sale, it just went up $40,000, whatever. On Redfin, it's there for you. Fast updates, I love it. Also, um, they just announced today an updated redesigned iPhone app. So today on the iPhone, their app has been redesigned, announced today on their blog at redfin.com. You really should download the app. I highly suggest you do it immediately. Also, as I mentioned last week, they're having a launch party, a downtown cocktail room, Woo. next Thursday from 6 to 8 p.m. It'd be funny if it was, it was AM, wouldn't it? But no. Um, from 6 to 8. So it's right for the podcast. It's perfect. You just go to a downtown cocktail room. Free food, free drinks. There's going to be swag and prizes and stuff. They're even going to have like iPad displays so you can play with the app over there, downtown cocktail room. And then you come here to the podcast. So once again, I want to thank our sponsors, redfin.com. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. And then... I have one last thing. This week happens to be National Backyard Games Week. Who enjoys backyard games? Darts. What? Yes. You always yes. shout things, Pablo, and I'm like, non darts. I'm... Non darts. <laughs> I'm always like, what is Pablo saying? I want it. I know it's funny, but I'm not like. Okay. Thank you. Um, so, what, what what establishment close by has like games in the backyard? Goldspike. Yes, Gold Spike, yes. Well, my really, really good friend Alethea, a.k.a. Ali Prudence, who is the known as to be the sort of uh, programming princess at Downtown Project, uh, has invited through me to you guys to go to Gold Spike tonight from 10 to 1. They are having out-of-town bands playing this evening. One is called The Corners. No, no, it's The Mystic. Yeah, one is called The Mystic, and they're playing. Um, they're from Echo Park, which is known as like Hipster Central in Los Angeles. Another band uh, is a rock band. They're called Corners. So from 10 to 1 tonight, we got to go and support. Check out these bands. Uh, it's free to get in, of course, and it's 21 and older. And uh, I just think it's kind of amazing that Gold Spike features these out-of-town music guests every single week, and people kind of go there for like the games and to kind of chill, but they have music now that's amazing that Ali is booking. So we need to go and support. Happy holidays. Love you guys. Good night. Woo!